Okay, so you've managed to get your 40 gallon hot water heater to this point. Now what do you do with it? Well, this is how to make an air compressor out of one. In just a second I'm going to have the video flash to a photo. It's going to be of the type of air compressor that you're looking for. It's an on-demand um, three to four horsepower with a four gallon um, dual tank. It's what they use for running air guns, nailers, things like that. You'll find them on sale on a regular basis. But the other thing that you'll find is they're oftentimes at pawn shops for like 40 bucks, um, 50 bucks at yard sales for 40 or 50 because a lot of times people use them and then they no longer need to do any nailing projects and so they stop needing them. All right, here's a far off view of it so that you can see it in its entirety. And now we'll come up and we'll show you the different parts. Uh, first, you want to take the front panel off when you're removing it and simply cut it off on each side so that you can remount it. The first thing that you're going to need to deal with though is going to be mounting the motor. If you look, I've simply cut the base off and just chopped it right here so this is where the two tanks would have been so you cut this off and that gives you your rubber grommet base and your solid base here and you weld this directly onto the tank in a couple of spots The other thing that you're going to need to save off of the tank is there's a couple of fittings that are proprietary thread. This right here you need to cut off from the base of this. Um, these are on Home Depot's website. They're about five dollars. You need to decide whether you need a left or a right one when you go to buy it depending on how you set up your setup. Then up top, where the regulator goes in, you need to cut this piece here off of the donor so that this can bind to it. This is just a simple elbow that it's been welded solid into and just comes right down into the tank. So this gives your outgoing feed and this is your ingoing feed. Um, a minor thing, if I had of done this a second time, is this right here is an adapter that I had to buy at the hardware store. It's just a single flare adapter. Um, if I had this to do over again, this piece of pipe as it comes down into here, um, right about here I would have created a series of coils going down through, um, perhaps coming around a, a beer bottle. Um, something along those lines making a set of coils this section of pipe gets extremely hot when it's operating um, the other thing that you're going to need to watch for is this when it comes out from here this has to be really far away from this otherwise it'll heat up and it'll burst otherwise than that um, simply zip tie everything up and drop it down through so that you can connect it and there you have it um, it'll do the full 160 psi without any issue uh, it takes probably a 5 to 10 minute charge before it'll hit 120 uh, you can operate a paint gun consistently for about two hours straight without even thinking uh, if you need something that's going to draw 120 consistently, like say uh, a large impact or something like that that draws 80 PSI, you can work through quite a bit before it has to recharge. It'll on demand about 60 without any issue, 40 it doesn't even flinch. And there you are. That's how to make a 40 gallon air compressor. Have a good day.